They look like overpasses that come from nowhere and go to nowhere. But they're actually very important to the bighorn sheep that call this country home. On February 1st, 2011, a young ram bighorn sheep took the first tentative step onto the newly constructed wildlife overpass on Highway 93 near Hoover Dam. We were so excited uh, and very pleased to see the first uh, video images uh, of the bighorn sheep actually using the overpasses. Not only do these overpasses protect motorists traveling this highly traveled uh, corridor on US 93, but they also protect the bighorn sheep, of course, native to the Black Mountains. ADOT has spent nearly half a billion dollars over the last decade improving US 93 from Wickenburg in Maricopa County to the new Hoover Dam Bypass. The uh, improvements continue. ADOT's long-term vision is to transform this highly traveled route into a four-lane divided highway. U.S. Highway 93 is the route that most Arizonans use to access Las Vegas. It's also been designated as part of the North American Free Trade Agreement trade route, as well as part of the Canamex, the Canada-Mexico trade corridor. Increasing traffic levels and accidents, desert bighorn sheep vehicle collisions, and compromised Hoover Dam security led both federal and state agencies to act. To address these issues, Arizona Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration constructed the Hoover Dam Bypass. Completed in the fall of 2010, this new roadway circumvents Hoover Dam by allowing traffic to pass over the Colorado River on a bridge downstream, but within sight of the Hoover Dam. In Arizona, 15 miles of two-lane roadway from the Hoover Dam Bypass south toward Kingman is now widened to four lanes. To alleviate the Bighorn Vehicle Collision component, three wildlife overpasses and adjacent funnel fencing were constructed to allow wildlife to cross the road safely and exclude desert bighorn from the roadway, thereby reducing risks for motorists. Before they started reconstruction of the roadway, we were seeing as many as 10 bighorn sheep killed per year. That also poses a, a safety concern for the people driving up and down the highway. State and federal laws do mandate that the Arizona Department of Transportation look at all of the environmental impacts uh, prior to building any roadway uh, in Arizona. In 2004, ADOT and Federal Highways funded a project to evaluate where these crossing structures would be placed. So Arizona Game and Fish Department went out and collared sheep and let those sheep tell us where to put those structures with uh, GPS collars. When we got the data back from the GPS collars, identified several locations where the sheep were trying to cross or were crossing the road. One of those is this, the overpass you see behind us here. This research showed that desert bighorn sheep focused their movement along ridges that were intersected by the highway to approach and cross US 93. The ridges offered the bighorn good visibility to avoid predators, higher quality forage compared to surrounding landscapes, and terrain that offered the best possible link to larger areas of suitable sheep habitat. Data suggests that crossing structures built at these locations would be the most effective locations for crossing structures. We've learned that desert bighorn sheep don't like underpasses and culverts. They tend to shy away from them because of the predators that might be in there. And so overpasses have become a good option for uh, bighorn sheep. Additionally, the cost of building overpasses was less than underpasses. In support of the recommendations, Arizona Game and Fish, ADOT, and Federal Highways committed to designing and building three overpasses, the first ever in Arizona and the first anywhere in the world for desert bighorn sheep. The three sites chosen are at mileposts 3.3, 5.2, and 12.2. The purpose of these overpasses is to minimize the impacts of fragmentation, which along with habitat loss serves as the leading factors for wildlife extinction. The bighorn sheep herd in this area is one of the largest and most important in the country, and efforts such as these are intended to help ensure the sustainability of this herd for future generations of wildlife enthusiasts, while also providing for improved safety for motorists. People come from all over the world for the watchable wildlife opportunities in Arizona. This young lady is taking home the memory of a lifetime. Associated with the overpasses is wildlife fencing. This fencing is high enough to keep sheep from ju jumping it easily. The fencing funnels them down to the wildlife overpasses and a couple of bridges we have in the project 
and that fencing is also linked to culverts along the project corridor so other animals can pass under the highway safely. Built into each fence is what's called an escape ramp. When an animal gets caught inside the fence on the side of the highway, they can come to the escape ramp, jump out, and then they're not caught inside the fence corridor. A barrier, like a roadway, canal, or fencing, blocks the movement of animals from others of their kind or essential habitats. Bighorn sheep, like all other wildlife, need access to resources to keep them alive, like water and food and summer winter range and feeding grounds and breeding grounds. And if you cut off access to that, then they don't have a way to get to those resources. And over time, you see a couple of things. You start to see uh, gen genetics not getting across the roads and barriers and, and that leads to inbreeding for wildlife populations and you might see um, reduced fitness or the ability of those animals to have young and um, all the other negative effects that come with inbreeding and after a while they can't get to the resources they need to survive and, and over time they can go extinct. We have uh, installed a digital video recording system to monitor their use or non-use of the overpasses. Uh, ADOT was very helpful with establishing this system to make it actually integrated into the structure itself to make it ro more robust against weather or rodents chewing, chewing through wires or whatnot. You can see a portion of the system here, which is comprised of some infrared lights, which uh, may not catch sheep since they're daytime animals, but would catch any other animals using the overpass at night. In the center of the two infrared lights, you have a, a colored uh, video camera that records anything crossing the structure at mid-bridge here. The digital video recording system uses a photo beam trigger that shoots across the structure. Located about 8 to 10 inches off the deck, anything that breaks the photo beam will start all the cameras rolling at the crossing. On this bridge, we actually have three photo beam triggers, one in the center, and then one at either end as an approach trigger. That way, biologists can catch the bighorn sheep as they approach the structure, then witness whether they actually crossed or not. And so we also have three of these cameras at the west end of the overpass, and those cameras not only allow us to see sheep coming across this structure, but it also allows us to monitor the sheep who may approach the structure and decide not to cross we're able to correlate that digital video recording of the sheep's behavior and correlate that with uh, traffic volumes on the road to see if that has any effect on their behavior, whether they decide to cross or not to cross the structure. All three overpasses have been used by bighorn sheep, and of those bighorn, a majority are male. But of all of them that make an approach, about half do cross, and they'll make multiple crossings. We also have to serve as a backup to our video system and to catch additional images is a trail camera. So it snaps still photos, again, of anything crossing uh, the structure at any time of the day. On this particular structure, we've uh, monitored a few uh, young rams coming down and they were practicing headbutting as they're coming down their approach. I think from the other highway projects we have that it's shown that the few brave animals that initially will go across, others will start to follow them, then it will just become a regular behavior in their movements. On top of the overpasses, we have tried to match the surroundings as much as possible. When the sheep come up to the overpasses, you want it to look just like what they've been traveling through as they go across the landscape, so they're not bothered by it or they, they're not alarmed by it. The idea is, is they, they just continue down the ridge that they were originally walking down and right onto the other side of the road. This is one of the 50 foot wide structures. We have two of these and the third one is double this width. So there's one structure that's 100 foot wide and they're all 200 foot across. The data that we do collect from all these overpass structures will be analyzed. We'll be looking for the number of sheep that approach the structures the number of sheep that cross those structures so we can get a passage rate and all that is correlated with the amount of traffic and time of day. We also look at those movement patterns and associated with different seasons that are important to the bighorn sheep. We'll also look at are males using it more than females or is it even and how does that change as time goes on. This project has been a partnership between the Arizona Department of Transportation, Federal Highways, Arizona Game and Fish Department, Bureau of Land Management, and the National Park Service. 
As far as the research project goes, the partners are ADOT through their Transportation Research Center, Game and Fish, and the Federal Aid Wildlife Restoration Program. Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society funds and manpower were invaluable to this research project as well. The upgrades to U.S. Highway 93 will benefit the traveling public through efficiency and safety. Furthermore, the wildlife overpasses will reduce the incidence of wildlife vehicle collisions while maintaining habitat connectivity. Although it may take several years for large segments of the population to readily utilize these new structures, we've already documented their use by sheep even as the concrete seems to be barely dry. The partnership between natural resource and transportation agencies represents the first time in Arizona that wildlife research was conducted and results incorporated into project design before construction began and represents the success in partnerships between agencies of differing disciplines but similar goals.